Hi guys! We built this compact and relatively cheap PC with the idea of streaming and gaming in a very tight budget. But what if you don't want to stream and you just want to game? Is it possible in the same around 400 euro price to get something better? And the answer is yes, in fact. The main reason for this is this Ryzen 3 1200. It's from the first generation Ryzen, it's a true quad core CPU. And at the moment, you can find it even lower than 60 euro. So it's in the price range of Athlon 200G and Intel Pentium Gold 5400 or something. It is slightly lower clock than them. Base clock is 3.1, maximum boost clock is 3.45 GHz. But you can overclock it on a B350, B450 or even in this strange cheap X370 motherboard that we used. With the box core, which is the right stealth, you can get to 3.7 GHz, though I think the optimal for it is around 3.6 because the core gets quite hot. And in this case, you can almost reach the clock speeds of the Pentium Gold. You get good performance from it. It's about Core i5 5400. So for a base of a gaming system, it's just about right. And because of that, the price of this 3400G Ryzen 5 is around 150 euro. So you get around 90 euro to spare. 90 euro is not quite enough. Typically, I would offer you to combine this CPU with Radeon RX 570, which should be around 140 euro. But if you are really cash strapped, you can try this. It is the Radeon RX 560. This here is a Fire Pulse 4 GB model. You can find it similar, uh, this or similar models for around 120 euro. So against the 570 it doesn't look that good of an offer, but it just gets about in our 400 euro limit. Also, there is a 2 GB version which should be around 10 euro less. And most importantly, you can find it on second hand. This or its almost identical predecessor 460 for around 60 euro. So let's get to building and see how much performance we can get from gaming. So, this is it, it's probably not ideal, but there is a bit of space here from the PSU, so the GPU will not get too hot, probably. And we managed to get this card from the default 1300 core and 
1750 MHz of, of the memory to 1400 core and 2000 MHz for the memory. It's not some excessive overclock, but it's something about 10% more performance. Of course, we added 50% to the power limit to not throttle. And the CPU in this configuration, 3.7 GHz in uh, 1.4125 volts on this motherboard. It gets to around 86, 87 degrees in Cinebench repetitive tests, but for gaming it's in the 70s with this score, so it's about okay. And now let's see how much performance we can get in 1080p with this 400 euro PC. The results are quite clear. If you want gaming performance, just go for Ryzen 3 1200 and Radeon RX 560. They offer on average more than 60% more performance and have no problem to run any game in 1080p. Overclocking also adds a similar margin to that for the overclocked Ryzen 5 3400G, so the relative positioning stays the same. And what's more important, all online games are now perfectly playable without the need to drop the resolution settings. However, there is a case to be made for Ryzen 5 3400G in the current comparison and that is the CPU performance. The difference here is also massive, but this time it is on the side of the integrated processors thanks both to its quite a bit higher clocks and also the, to the availability of SMT technology. Even the quad good for nowadays 70% gain from overclocking doesn't help the Ryzen 3 1200 to come close enough to the newer model. So if you want compact relatively cheap PC to do some work, you can take a look at Ryzen 5 3400G. As for the power and temps, Ryzen 3 1200 at default has a very low power consumption if we compare idle to Cinebench R20 results. It's practically half the CPU part of the Ryzen 5 3400G and that is visible from the temps with the anemic right stealth cooler. Things change when overclocking and now the CPUs consume almost the same amount of power which results in substantially higher temps for the 1200. Keep in mind that we are cooling the overclocked Ryzen 5 3400G with Snowman MX6 instead of the box cooler. So it is highly advisable to do the same for Ryzen 3 1200. In the end, I think if you want an extremely budget conscious gaming PC that plays all games in 1080p acceptably, the combination of Ryzen Ryzen 3 1200 and Radeon RX 560 is a very potent combo, but I'd still advise you to do what you can for the last 20-30 bucks and directly go for Radeon RX 570. That's it for today, please like if you liked it, subscribe if you want more, share on social media and you can support us on Patreon. Bye!